welcome to today's video. Uh, today what we're going to look at is retargeting models and animations. Um, we're going to keep this very basic. This should work with most models that follow the same bone or skeleton structure as the Unreal uh, sort of default layout. Most models on the asset store or the marketplace do follow this rule, um, but if you do find them from other places, they may not. Um, but this will, this video only covers ones that do. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to open up a fresh third person um, project. I'm going to name this char for character. Um, I'm not going to create it with starter content because it's not necessary for this video. But whilst that loads up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a model that I'm going to use. So you can find models on the marketplace. Um, one second, let's just minimize that. You can find models on the marketplace if you like. Um, however, obviously with free content coming out every month, there's a good chance that you've already got some models that you can use. So I'm just going to scroll down in my library in my vault and find a model, uh, Gothic Knight. So I'm going to add Gothic Knight to my project. And if you've not already downloaded this before, you'll, you'll probably just have to wait a little bit longer. I've had it, I've used it before in the past, so it's, it's, it's transferred quite quickly. Um, okay, so with that now being added to a project, let's go into the project. You can see that it's added there, um, G9, Gothic Knight. And we're pretty much set to, to crack on now. So, as you can see, when we press play, we've, already, we've got the default, default mannequin. But we want to change that to, let's have a look, uh, let's go to meshes. And Gothic Knight the year. So I want to use this character. So if I go to edit third person now, so just edit your character's blueprint. I'm going to go to viewport just so I can see what's going on. I'm going to change to mesh and I'm going to change my mesh to Gothic Knight the year. Hit compile, uh, go back to mesh. And if I switch the animation blueprint to the third person animation BP, and hit compile and play. You can see nothing happens because the, the animation is not set up to work with this model. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to do what's called retargeting. So, if you go back to your uh, skeletal mesh and go to skeleton at the top, up at the top you'll see retarget manager. You can click on that and you'll get this menu. By default you might be in the skeleton tree but just hit retarget manager and you'll see this menu. Where it says setup rig you just want to tell it to be select humanoid rig. Now that just says that um, this model combines or, or it uses the standard uh, sort of skeletal hierarchy. Um, then you can hit save and what we need to do is the same thing in the UE4 mannequin. So go back to content, go to mannequin, go to character, go to meshes, and look for the SK mannequin. And then same again, go to skeleton, and go to retarget manager. And where it says setup rig, just select humanoid rig. Hit save. And now both the Gothic Knight and the mannequin have, have been, uh, UE4 has been told, well hang on, these are using the same system, so now we'll be able to retarget them. Um, so, what we're going to do now is go back to content, I'm going to go to mannequin, but this time I'm going to go to animations, because I want to take the animations of the mannequin and tell them, this is the same animations I want to use for the night. So now, I'm going to right click on the third person anim BP, retarget and I want to duplicate the animation blueprint and retarget them to a new model. Click on that and now if you follow the steps as, we've, as I've gone through you should have Gothic Knight available to select as a skeleton. What you simply want to do now is select retarget and what it's done is retargeted and duplicated those blueprints and put them in your content folder. So just to make it easier to find I'm just going to rename this BP now to um, Knight, so third person and in BP, Knight, 
I'm going to go back to my third person character, select my mesh, change my animation blueprint class to the third person anim BP9, and you can already see that the animation started to play. And if we hit play, now you can see that the same mannequin animations that we've previously had are now assigned to this night model. And it's as simple as that. Now this should work with any animations that um, are set up using the UE4's default rig, this, 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 this skeleton tree. Um, it, sh it also should work with all models that follow the same hierarchy um, skeletal tree. Um, and it's that simple. So thanks for watching. If you found that useful, please give me a like. Um, if you have any issues surrounding that, put a comment down below and I'll try my best to help you. If you are using models that don't follow this hierarchy, I will try to help you as best I can, but I might find it difficult because every model is slightly different. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.